Hello everyone, this is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This video, however, I am going to give you a little glimpse of the workspace that I use on a daily basis and give you some ideas hopefully and show you some of the changes that, has been, that have been made uh, from a previous video. I have, this is a very small space, that my office that I use not only for personal but also business. And I have tried to incorporate some early pieces to make, to give it that antique feel as well as pretty it up, I guess, to customize it to my taste to make it an inviting workspace that I am eager to come into in the mornings and just get right to work. So this video will probably be a little lengthy because I am going to go into some detail here, but um, we'll start right here to my left around the corner as you enter the door. And this uh, office serves a double purpose. So. By that I mean there's a, there's a number of things that I do in here, but basically this area here is um, reserved for my sewing things. Now it also serves two functions, which I'll go into in a minute, but you can see there's an early cabinet there that has uh, little shelves beside it. Again, when you've got a small footprint of a space, you use your vertical space, and that's what I have done even above the doorway there you can see storage boxes which houses some yarn and other computer related items. I have a little display clear at the top there of old spools and I use them not only for display but I do pull them down and use them for repairs and stuff. There's an old thread box there, Aunt Lydia's thread box. And again, it just adds a little decorative element using antiques. This space, there I have my thread spools. And I do have a video, which I will link below, that goes into more detail about my uh, sewing area here and the way it functions. So I'm not going to go into that detail. This right here, this area where you see this white um, lace tablecloth is an area that I use for photographing which works beautifully because this is my sewing machine and this backdrop cloth that I use for just comes right out over the sewing machine and then when I do need to use the sewing machine that lifts right up and I have access to it. One thing that has changed since uh, a video, previous video that I did of this room are my bifold doors here. That They used to be mirrored doors but now I have changed them and so they're solid doors. And this space, which is a fairly large space for this small room actually, is a space that's used to store inventory that I have online as well as boxes and shipping supplies, packaging supplies and so forth which my husband keeps organized in, in this area because he's the one that does most of the packing for me. I have even on this side, I hang my travel bags that I use for my electronics and stuff. I even have a bin here that holds props that I use in photography. I even have down there a turntable if I want to do a feature display on how something works. But you get the idea as I pull back here that that is a fairly large space for a small room and and I do try to keep it very organized so that things can be easily retrieved. These bins I have marked with tags so that you can see what 
things are in them at a glance. So let me shut this door and move over. This again is in a previous video so I'm not going to go into this but just to mention that these are old textile spools that I've used to preserve and um, place so that I can see them quickly. Um, antique lace pieces that I use in repairs and such. As you come down, this is a little section where we have the packaging tape and stuff so that they are easily accessible. The scales that we use for weighing. And this little tiny um, end table is what I use it for. Uh, has a lot of function to it because this little pull-out drawer houses my uh, batteries and chargers and I've got these little compartments that one says charged and one says need charged so I'll know what batteries are charged and what needs to be charged and of course down in there I use that to house other camera accessories and on the side of there is a is a attached file pocket that I use for the manuals and things that go with the cameras that we use. I have this early bench here which is a small bench and works just beautifully in this small room. Gives a little seating area for someone else that's accompanying you in this room and also just works as a place to put things whenever you're in the middle of photography and such. I do have a little dust buster that I keep down there for quick cleanups whenever you're packaging and use styrofoam and stuff it seems to get all over the place so that's a quick cleanup tip for you. The curtains are just like swag curtains but I have added the floral uh, decorative element there that brings in some of the pink and um, burgundy colors that I want in this room. Below that bench is an antique carton that I have placed so for easy to be able to slide out on the carpet there. I've put those furniture movers on the bottom if you can see that and attached them so that I can retrieve this and this is sectioned off with scrap fabric and that's uh, those are things that um, if you're a sewer and you repair antiques, they're invaluable. So moving over into this corner, I have a smaller size corner cabinet. This is the decorative focal point that really is what, um, you know, I use. I don't use this particular cabinet for much as far as my business. It is the more decorative Cabinet, and you can. I'm sorry, you can see me there in the in the uh, reflection of the window. So I'll get to the side here. But I do have it fixed with let me get this door open again. I do have it housed with some early pieces that I think are office type related items, which, like I said, because I love antiques. I always like to add a little antique decorative element into most every room. This part of the cabinet is used for the business part. That Again, little lace scraps and stuff is organized there. And the same down here. And I have covered these boxes that I made um, designed to fit in there at the angle that a corner cabinet is and I've covered them with the twall fabric which goes with uh, the uh, decorative element that I now have on my desk which I will show you in a minute. Here's This is just for decoration only, this calendar that's 1928. But again and that's an early family piece that's a stock certificate that dates back to 1919. Again you see the, I hope so, I hope it's not too much light coming in. You can see the curtains. And I'm going to pull back here now 
to hopefully show you my desk area just as an overview there first. Now the thing about myself as opposed to some is that I like things uh, at easy reach at my fingertips when I'm working. I find that if I have things all put away so that I cannot uh, I have to hunt through a drawer or open drawers for things and so forth that it's just probably not going to work for me. I like to be able to have easy access and so I've tried to design things on my desk for that purpose. Um, this desk is an old desk. I have had this thing for ever. <laughs> just, I probably, I, I just can't even remember how long. But um, because it, I call it an old bomber desk, but it's so functional, I love the the large desk top that's on there. And so I've added some decorative element with some toile, um, I guess it's shelf liner, um, pieces um, and, and I've also put the same thing that um, contact paper I guess is what you call it um, on the desktop and then to put the pop of color in here I've just added a piece of um, poster board that I got from Dollar Tree uh, for that hot pink color. I put that same hot pink look there on my computer monitor because it covers up the um, the video camera that's on, that sits there and then I've added that same hot pink look up here to some of my personal mementos and things that I keep above my little TV and so forth. So I want to go through some of the things here on my desk. I have on the right here, my calculator, which is a printable calculator, which I really use all the time. I have a little thing here that's already plugged into my uh, CPU that plugs into my camera for easy upload so that I don't have to use a memory card. And that just like pulls out and stays right there on my desk through the little holder that I've got right here. This is my little mail quick retrieval mail station that has my thank you pad, my uh, rag doll stickers, stamps, address, uh, return address labels, just all the things that you need for easy access because when I mail out and of course I have business cards sitting there that I can take with me when I need to take more. I have a nice little carousel uh, pen and pencil holder that is I love because it just turns around to the part that I need and I can keep everything organized in the right space. I have here for easy access my tape dispenser, my stapler, and even a, a bottle of um, hand lotion. On this side I've just got this little cheat sheet thing I call it um, to use for whenever I'm listing things so that I've got the tabs there to mark what the categories are and so forth. Um, I've discovered I'm a real planner person and I love my uh, hot pink, dark pink color crush planner which I have just had a ball with. Um, it has helped me to stay so organized and, and to think through things and I uh, use this I just, I've just i just fallen in love with it. That's all I can say. Um, my Rolodex is such an important feature on my desk. Makes easy access to contacts and so forth. And then there's a little file cabinet and I have my um, in basket there. The bottom has a folder that's for projects and action items and I got that idea from the clutter diet lady that uh, has so many good ideas for organizing. And so that is most of what I wanted to show you I think here on my desk. Oh this cutting board came from Michaels and I just love it. It's a Recollections. It's an 8 by 11 piece. It's a small cutting board but it has your different um, 
sizes if you're cutting something, but it's also easy and quick to measure something when you're listing something to see what the dimensions are. So, and also makes for a great place to write on. It gives you a smooth writing surface. To the right of my desk, I have a bulletin board which used to be an ugly brown and I just took it out and painted it black, or at least I had my husband to do it, I should say. And um, little clipboards that I used to to um, hold notes and stuff. And I've covered those also in the twelve um, print. I have a shredder and on the side of my, on this side of my um, file cabinet, I use it too. And these are not attractive file cabinets. These are just your typical um, old uh, metal file cabinets. But I have my Fisker's paper cutter that is, that is um, it lives right there. I have file folders that have my online orders that I have uh, placed personally, which I don't know what they are that way. I even hold my remotes for my television down there and other things and of course on the floor is my waste basket. So coming up on this side, this again because it's a dual purpose room I have these nice little antique drawers here that are cabinet, nice cabinet and they have a lot of things in there that have to do with my sewing things above them is another shelf where I have an archive of inventory items and stuff if I ever need to check back on that. My file cabinets I decorate with vintage touch magnets. And then even on this side this little file folder that is a magnet type holds flowers and stuff that I use in photographs when I'm staging an item. Behind the door I have a hook there where I hang something if I need to photograph something hanging. And there's a lap board that I could pull out and put on this sewing machine if I need it uh, when, I'm, uh, when we are wrapping large boxes. And even on the back of the door is where I hang some of the baby items that I have for sale. So I think that gives you a pretty good view of what I have. I didn't really go into the little stand there on the left of the desk, but that just has baskets of that's labeled with things that I need to, um, or I don't need to, but I mean that I need to get to uh, quickly. Again, I'm a person that would that likes to have easy access to things. So right there on the left of me when I'm sitting at my desk is a good place. And I will show you before I <coughs> close that the back of my <coughs> area here where my printer sits, ex <coughs> excuse me, has a extra, all this extra space that I use to store office supplies and so forth. So that really makes that handy. And you don't see that until you walk around there. So it doesn't take away from the appearance of the room. So let me pull back one more time so you can get an overview of what my office looks like. I hope this has um, inspired you maybe a little bit to um, just personalize your workspace, make it pretty and inviting. It helps you to be a productive worker, to have a place to come into every day that is an inviting place and environment to be in. So I thank you for watching and if you enjoy this type of video please give it a thumbs up and share. I'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't already and please check out my other videos and look in the description for other places where I can be found on the web. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.